Hey guys, and welcome back with Kat. We are currently on the road, on the way to the Midwest. Hey! And don't worry, we've also got the little paparuskis here. We're gonna be spending some good old quality time with Grammy and Grampy. And, uh, you know, that explains the amount of things that we have brought with us. <laughs> I think we do this about twice a year at minimum. And so we're really looking forward to spending some time over there. Um, but for today's video, I wanted to focus on road trip snacks. Oh, my ears are popping. We are driving through the mountains right now. Um, anyway, if you've made a video similar to this, which is road trip snacks, go ahead and check it out for some more ideas. But in today's video, I'm gonna share with you a few more different options. So I really hope you enjoy them. All right, so one of the first snacks, as I mentioned in my original video, I was a chip girl. I would love to get my hands on a bag of chips. I just love the crunchiness, the saltiness, whatever. Anyway, obviously we can't have this on the carnivore diet. So I wanted to find another way of having this comfort snack, but without the worry of any carbs or any nonsense ingredients. Now they look like pepperonis but these are baked pepperonis. They're crunchy, they're super good, very salty. Let me show you how I make these. This snack is a great option for any recovering chip fiend. Now, in all honesty, pepperonis are not the most favorable carnivore option. However, it definitely beats any carb-loaded alternative, so don't let anyone make you feel bad about it. Even easier, this process takes hardly any time to prepare. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You can use any pan, however, I'm using a perforated pan to lay out my pepperoni so I can get the evenly distributed heat at the top and bottom for that crispy texture. Just a fair warning, ensure you've got something underneath to catch any drippings. In it goes for six to eight minutes and it's all done. My storage tip for this snack is to keep it in an airtight container and it can sit on the counter for up to two days without losing its crispiness. Hey guys, really quick, I truly enjoy bringing you this type of content and I kindly ask you please subscribe to help the channel grow. It means a lot to me to see your support. All right, back to the video. So for our next snack, now I have to give kudos to this individual, um, but I came across this recipe and I had to share it with you guys because it looked pretty good. And these are your tuna melts. So let me show you how it was done. Man, I have missed tuna salad. And for my tuna haters out there, you can still follow the same recipe and swap out the canned tuna for the canned chicken. All right, so let's start by preheating our oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. While your oven starts to heat, let's lay a piece of parchment paper on a sheet pan. I'm using mozzarella slices and laying out about six of these cheese slices once your oven is at the right temperature. Allow your cheese slices to cook for about five minutes. In the meantime, let's prep our filling. For ingredients, you're gonna need a can of tuna, three tablespoons of mayo, I recommend you check out my video above for my carnivore-friendly homemade recipe. You'll also need some salt to taste. Start mixing all of your ingredients together in a bowl. You can optionally add in a teaspoon of mustard and a teaspoon of white vinegar for extra flavoring. Once everything has mixed all together, Set your filling aside and go ahead and grab your cheese where it should look something like this. These delicious warm blankets will be used to tuck in our tuna goodness. I am going to fill one corner of each slice with a tablespoon of filling. So we should have plenty for six slices total. Then carefully pull a corner of your sliced cheese and lay it over your filling. The edges won't stick together at this point, but it will once you pop them back in the oven for an additional five minutes. And pro tip, you can set your oven to the broiler setting for added crispiness to your tuna melt. And there you go, all done. These of course taste its absolute best when eaten immediately. However, they still hold up its deliciousness the next day. So for storage, you can keep these in the fridge for up to three days and you can even reheat it in the air fryer or in the oven. <laughs> All right, we stopped at the Bucky's. I freaking love the Bucky's. I don't know if you guys have ever been to one or if you have one local to you, but whenever we have an opportunity to stop, I love it. Their bathrooms, spectacular. Okay, so for our last snack that I want to share with you guys for any road trip, 
uh, are these delicious egg bites. Now you can make these in advance. You don't even have to take this with you on a road trip. You can simply just make it in advance for your future meals. If you're hosting a party, these are so good too. But let me show you how I make these. <laughs> I love eggs and this is another fun recipe to try. It's very reminiscent of the Starbucks egg bites, but trust me, ours will taste way better. So to start, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll need three eggs, roughly six ounces of crumbled pork sausage, a quarter cup of cheese. I didn't have any aged cheese in the fridge, so I opted to cut up my sliced cheeses that I had, and a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream. Start by whisking your eggs and incorporating all your ingredients together in a bowl. And then use your favorite choice of fat to grease your muffin pans. I am using tallow and then pop them in the oven for 20 minutes. That's it, all super easy snack ideas. For storage, you can keep these in a Ziploc or a container in the fridge for up to five days. <laughs> I'm waving bye to Bucky's. All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking with me on another journey. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next.